Hello friends, welcome back to STM Metatronics. In this video, we will see how to read data from multi-channel ADC. In the last video, we saw how to configure the multi-channel ADC. But there was some problem reading the data from the multi-channel ADC input. So as you can see here, we have connected two potentiometer to PA1 and PA2. And in program, we are reading channel 1 we are reading two convergence so it is a continuous scan conversion mode we are reading two convergence and ADC channel 1 is read first after that ADC channel 2 is read for read the data is stored in the local variables so ADC val 1 and ADC val 2 so it should display the data of ADC PA1 and after that PA2 channel but as you can see here the PA2 channel data is shown first and after that PA1 channel data is shown so there is problem in reading from the ADC this is due to the scan conversion time now this problem can be solved by initializing one channel at a time reading data from that channel and storing the data into local variable then again initializing second channel reading its data and storing its data into second variable so this method works and we will see how to configure the channels individually so we have used three local variables we have initialized them so you have all you have to do is you have to edit the code here you have to make the number of convergence one you have to make the continuous conversion mode enable then scan scan conversion mode either it will be enabled or disabled you have to comment this code from this section to this section so as you can see that I have commented all three channels and just below that you can write like ADC configuration for selecting channel 0 for selecting channel 1 for selecting channel 2 and you can go on like this then going up into the main while loop here you have to select the channel first ADC select cha ADC channel select then you have to start the ADC you have to wait for the conversion to complete then read the value of the conversion and then stop the ADC then select channel 1 start the ADC wait for conversion to complete read the value then stop the ADC select channel 2 start the ADC wait for conversion read the value and stop the ADC then we are printing all the three channel values we are giving delay and again we are reading the values these are the prototype declarations going into print care variable print care function so we have to include this print care dot h whichever variable is sent here first it will check that it is not equals to 0 then modulo 10 will be taken and 48 will be added to it to convert it into ASCII value then that ASCII value will be stored in the number i then again the number will be divided by 10 likewise it will go on continuing conversion from the decimal value to ASCII value then we transmit the ASCII values at once
now build the code go into your simulation file here you can see that i have used three dc sources so for channel 0 i have given 3.3 volts for pa1 i have given 2.2 volts and for pa2 i have given 1.1 volt i have kept the virtual terminal settings at baud rate 9600 then I have connected 1K resistor, series resistor to the DC source to input channels, ADC input channels. Now go into, so select the hex file created, click on open. Now for 3.3 volts, we are getting 4095. For 2.2 volts, we are getting 27. 30 and for 1.1 volt we are getting 1365 so we will just modify the code to get the proper idea After printing all three values, we will give backslash r backslash n. So there will be space one blank line in between the, the three values being printed. Now run the code. So 4095 is printed first, then 2730, then 1365. Now all the three readings are being displayed correctly and in sequence. So, this is it for the video. Hope you enjoy the video. Click on like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching the video.